Let's just talk about you. Man, I got to tell you, it, the, the energy, when I normally come to D.C. maybe once a year to analyze what's going on is evil. It's twisted. It's, it's oppressive. It's destructive. But at these last three rallies, when hundreds of thousands and millions of patriots from every race, color, and creed come together, the energy is the best energy I've ever felt! People ask, man, are you on drugs? How do you get so excited on air? Why do you have so much energy? Because the animating contest of liberty that Thomas Jefferson talked about is an animating contest of liberty! And so there are great rallies happening all over this swamp right now. And the globalists have tried to brainwash and gaslight the public, but it's not worked. And everything they do is backfiring on them. They're playing checkers. We're playing beyond chess. When they make their one move, when they try to steal an election, or they engage in a criminal activity, they have that effect. But the second, third, and fourth, and fifth move, everything they do falls apart. Everything they touch disintegrates. So understand this. The attack on America is bigger than Donald Trump. It's bigger than all of you individually. Yeah. It's the true story of America and the idea of liberty against all the different tyrannies in the world. And it's not that we're perfect, but we've given the greatest example of empowering humanity. So this struggle we're in is a ongoing struggle that God has put us in to test us. And God is on our side and incredible things are coming. A lot of horribly evil things are happening as well. Yeah. And the children cry out to God yeah. for justice and for defense. And make no mistake, the spirit, the, the energy that's brought you here today from all over the country is the spirit and is the energy that is going to turn the tide of this satanic world government forever. Yeah. We look at the sick, evil venom of the system trying to divide us on race and on culture and on where we're from because they want to use that against us and divide us but we are unified by God and we are unified by our red blood that we share and our unity and our understanding and our interfacing with God's great truths and we are stronger now than we've ever been you look at the Satanists that run this system and they are in fear. They are grasping at straws as the sand goes through the hourglass because they denied God, they denied their birthright, and they sold it out for nothing, but we didn't. So never forget, no matter how bad it gets, this is the beginning of the end of the New World Order. We're no longer in the beginning of the beginning. We're now in the beginning of the end. And 10 years from now, mark my words, we're going to be in the firestorm. But they can't get your soul, so don't be in fear. Your soul's already with God forever. You've got free will, and you made that decision. So fear not the world and the Antichrist, because you are with Christ. Now I'm a radio talk show. Host, and I'm a Texan, and I'm a parent, and I love God. People ask me, Jones, why do you only preach now? Because the evil's out in the open, and there are no atheists in foxholes, and we are facing Satan. And the answer to Satan's 1984 is George Washington's 1776. So, this is the great testing. God gave us free will, and they're going to try to tell us Oh, there's no evidence of criminality. There's no evidence of fraud anywhere. Now they say, well, there's no widespread coordinated. Because if you're going to bust all our people, catching them red-handed, stealing the elections in Georgia and Pennsylvania and Michigan and Wisconsin and Arizona and on and on, then, oh, they all did it on their own. But that doesn't matter. So they take that Trump hour-long phone call and act like he's done something wrong. If anything, he wasn't hardcore enough. He gave them an example of hundreds of thousands of votes they know went for Trump that were stolen. So he says it should be easy for you to find the 11,000. That's not telling him make up an 11,000. That's saying we got half a million votes here. Your job's damn easy to find 11,000. 
But that's what these devils do, is they twist everything we say, and they turn it around against us, but it's not going to work. And I'm going to tell you something else. I say trust in the plan, God's plan. Trust in God. And yes, support President Trump, because regardless of what happens in 15 days as they try to inaugurate that communist Chinese agent, America and the world is awakening to this great oppression and this great evil. And so unlike the poor folks in Russia and China that never had a really good shot at liberty and had the globalists put tyranny in over them, here in America we have a very good chance of defeating this very, very quickly. But regardless of how bad it gets, submitting only makes it worse. That's why I want you to commit to total resistance. Total resistance to the globalists. Never give in, never back down, never even think about surrender. Don't think about fighting tyranny as hard. Think about it as like breathing into your lungs and life. And the more you do it, the more you want it. And that's the spirit of victory. We are going to be victorious over the globalists. And the number one thing to do after we put our trust in God is to expose the UN and the globalists because they run the whole thing. Not not Joe Biden, not Xi Jinping, but Bill Gates and Klaus Schwab and the globalists are the parasites that are enslaving China and enslaving Europe and enslaving Africa and enslaving all the rest of the world. And as soon as we start calling out the COVID-19 hoax lockdown, and as soon as we start exposing the Great Reset, the sooner these globalists start going to prison! So understand that, my friends. It is a fight between good and evil, and you know that. And the CDC's own numbers, there's no coverage of this. The CDC's own numbers came out two days ago from 2020. In 2020, in 2020, there were 61,000 more deaths than 2019. If you had population increase, and if you had the increase in suicide and drug overdoses, there were less deaths in 2020 than there was in 2019. The COVID hoax is broken. But the only way the COVID hoax is completely broken is if you get that truth and if you get that information and you get that out. Big Tech is trying to suppress you. Big Tech is trying to block you. Big Tech is trying to keep you from communicating with each other. So you do it by word of mouth and by email and by calling into talk radio and you do it by speaking up at church and you do it by printing out the facts and you never surrender. Because every mind you touch, every person you awaken is millions of people we're going to save because the globalists admit a shutdown for another six months in the West will kill tens of millions of the third world. When the first world collapses, the third world dies. And this is a giant attempt at killing civilization and a mass abortion of children that are already born who are the main victims of malnutrition and starvation. So never forget when the left tells you wear a mask, have have you know, have courage, stand up, be respectful. That's a sign of your slavery. That is a sign of your medical Sharia law and tyranny. And you must declare independence against the fear now. Now I know Roger Stones. He checked in the same hotel as I. He's on his way down here to give you a powerful speech. And then later tonight, down at Freedom Plaza. But I love you all, and I appreciate you all. And I just want you to know that you are the answer to tyranny. You are the answer. You are 1776.